Hello and welcome. I'm UK Gamer808 and today we are looking at Seasons 19 for console for Farming Simulator 19. Now this episode today is first look introduction really of what Seasons is about. We're just going to go through some of the menus and show you what's going on with that. So first off you can see at the moment the top hand side of the screen top right hand side it's changed slightly because we've now got the seasons hud now the first one where you can see the cloud is the current state of the weather now if the weather is going to change you might have the sunshine after that whereas at the moment it's cloudy so it's going to stay cloudy the next one is the state of the ground when you see it's wet so we're not going to be putting anything in the ground at the moment and then basically the next one we've got the two temperature gauges you've got celsius or fahrenheit that's set up in one of the settings i'll show you that shortly the top one is the air temperature so we've got four degrees for the air temperature and then the soil temperature is also four degrees then moving over to the right then we have the picture of the flower which indicates spring and then it says o1 of early spring so that's the first day in spring basically now you can you can set your seasons up to however many days you want for each cycle um between three and 24 i think it is but i'll show you that shortly and then we've got the normal clock with the speed on what time and then our money so easy as that for that right now if you want the seasons menu you need to hold down this is on playstation 4 you hold down the l1 and then push the options button and that will bring you up to the seasons menu so first off we have the calendar now you can see we've got the spring summer autumn and winter at the top there and if we're looking at the spring you've got one to three four to six seven to nine now those numbers denote the days whereas this currently is on nine days per season so that's why you've got one to three for the first first third of it four to six for the second third of it and then seven to nine for the next and then it goes on for spring uh, for spring summer autumn and winter right the next thing on here is if you see at the bottom we've got planting season is in green harvest season is in yellow so you can only plant when you when you can plant when it's on the calendar basically you're not going to be able to do it in any other times i'm not sure if it let you it might let you but your crops aren't going to germinate so so starting off today as we scroll down the list the only thing we've got available to plant is grass whereas grass will grow at the moment we can't harvest anything the only thing we can harvest at the moment you can see in the yellow is the oilseed radish and the poplars but we haven't got any of them anyway now this is a brand new map i've started brand new i did have a map set up and i was using the hower snowpack yesterday and there was a major major glitch with it it kept crashing my game and i saved it with it in and it corrupted my game so i had a game in about 12 hours where i got into this yesterday so we're starting again anyway so at the moment we can't plant anything so as you scroll through the seasons we'll be able to as we get into the summertime we'll be able to plant uh, a lot more later on well and harvest so at the moment we haven't got anything to harvest because we've got no crops in the ground now where it's in the blue you can see the grass is in three degrees so that is okay it will be fine i did think it would go green for when it's um right but this is all new new to me i haven't looked at anything on seasons i didn't want to i wanted to get into it myself rather than looking at a, a load of stuff six months ago and then putting it into practice now so so nothing is ready to plant at the moment we can't put anything in so that that is how the calendar is broken up and you see we've got nine separate days so it is quite a long seasons we're going to play playing on here i probably will knock that down let's go over to the settings first and i'll show you those first so we've got celsius or fahrenheit seasons introduction now that whenever the season changes it just tells you oh it's summer time now or it's autumn time it will just come up and let you know now there is the length i was telling you about so if we do 24 days each season is going to be split into 24 days so if you're on 24 days this is going to take you a long long time it's as simple as that 
Right, now, when you start a game, make sure you don't start... If you've got it on three days and then you think, well, I'm going to put it onto four days, um, onto six or nine or any other days. Now, on the previous season, it screwed everything up. So this is one thing. When you start a game, don't change it because it will screw things up. I'm not sure if it will, but it used to on FS17. So as a rule of thumb, don't bother changing it. So we leave that one on nine days for today. The crop moisture. Now, you can have that on and off if that does annoy you. And we'll leave it on because I want to be able to show you what it's all about. There is a crop moisture tool in the shop under miscellaneous. And we'll have a look at that shortly as well. And then we've also got, you can have snow tracks on or off. And then snow mode, you can have one layer only. Or you can have it just on where it will do continuous layers. So the one layer is just a little bit of snow, basically. So we'll leave that on snow mode. So scroll over to the weather forecast. Now, those from FS17, you see this has changed a hell of a lot. Where now, we for the day, we have a complete breakdown of what weather is going to happen. And you see at the top, there we have today. Uh, well, we have five of them are, are saying today, and basically the, it tells you the maximum temperature for the day, the average temperature, and the minimum temperature. Now, the minimum temperature is the one you're going to have to be watching up because you don't want to be planting crops when it's too cold. And then we move down to precipitation in millimeters, how much rain's going to fall, and then precipitation, the um, chances that it's going to fall. And then we move down to the wind speed. Now the wind speed is mainly for drying out your crops, whereas if you've got high wind speed then they're going to dry out a lot quicker, but depending on the seasons as well, whereas you can see at the moment the drying potential we've got there at zero, we have got plus plus for the next two days, not sure why, ah it has got a little bit warmer for those two days, you can see we're on three, not these days, and later on in, in this day it's on three degrees now, and then it can go up to seven or nine degrees. So there is a plus there for the drying. So we'll, I'm not sure exactly how that works though. This is why we're doing it. We're getting into it and we're gonna play the game so we know how it all works, put it into practice. And then moving over to the right hand side, you've got the rest of the week. Now, one of the things to bear in mind with this is it is not the same as your days in your other options. Whereas if we go into this one, we go on to finances and it says today is Monday. She's like, okay, it's Monday. But when we go into this one, you can see today is Tuesday. So there is a day difference on there. I don't know why, it's probably a little glitch where it's just started. Who knows? So bear that in mind, the calendar on the finances page is one day out than this one. So next page over. And this is all your crop info. Now, I was surprised at this because it didn't actually tell you what temperatures you needed to plant them. All this is, is so we start off with the top and wheat there, and you've got seed, young, mature for frost resistance. And then we've got yellow, green, and red. So any mature plants have got no frost resistance whatsoever. Any seeds have a medium risk, so as long as it doesn't get too cold, you're gonna probably be okay. Now that works on everything. Now if you go down to the cotton, because we're at Sussex Farms, cotton is none, 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 low, medium, high. And that's because basically on this geo, you cannot plant to that crop. Now what am I talking about geos? If you don't know, the geos are basically, they are used to, if you want to use a American um, weather pattern in Sussex Farm, then you need a American geo and you can use that and that geo will let you use cotton. So if you want to use cotton, you need to use the right geo for seasons. And there's going to be loads of geos coming out. We've got about four or five console at the moment. So keep an eye on those if that's what something you want. Because the other one you can't do on Sussex Farm is sugarcane. Where you see that's right at the bottom down there. And it's got no frost resistance because it's not meant to be grown in this country, is it? It's not a British. We don't have cotton and we don't have sugarcane. So that is basically telling you crop info, which is what you're going to need. Because the frost resistance is the main one, especially for seedlings 
when you see most of them are on low or medium so they're not too bad but you're gonna have to bear that in mind right next menu is the animals now there's the animals have changed a huge amount we've got lots of different varieties of animals now rather than just having cows we have loads of different cows which give you different types of um, some are good for meat some are good for milk and various other things same with the pigs and the sheep and the chickens so you can change them all and with the horses they're a little bit different as well but this is there's so much stuff to go through we're not going to cover it all now i'm just going to give you a quick introduction to what is going on and then we can put it into practice as we're playing the game really going over to economy and here lists every commodity which is available to sell and as you can see at the moment total mixed ration is a very high price for the rest of the year it's very low so at the moment is the time for selling total mixed ration same with a, a few of these other ones same with chaff now it's at 378 and then we scroll on all the way down so the green one is denoting that that is the one we are at at the moment fertilizers save money all the way through but liquid fertilizer the same manure eases up and eases back down same as digestate look at that it's at 1255 and it will go down a lot as soon as it drops from so today is good money for digestate and the other day it's not going to be very good same with the pig food the pig food is the same sort of money all the way through now these are all worked out on current settings for what what they sell for in in the world basically so these they're not made up they are all the stats come from real situations so going to the animals this is all the different animals available so we start with the limousine which is one of the different cows you can get and you can see the price does fluctuate on all of this not too much but it moves so bear in mind you want to sell it when it's highest and then we've got pigs there the gloucester old gloucestershire old spot the spotted the berkshire the cornish cross there's absolutely loads and different chickens and various other things there's loads there really is it's completely changed the game right so that is your economy then we move on to the crop rotation planner now this is just more of a guide for you so you know you, what you're going to get if you're going to put in certain crops so i've just set that one up there where you can see the first one is in fallow then the next one i'll put oats in and that will give me an extra 1.14 on top of the crop the same with the soybeans if i do that one next it will give me one now if i change that to sunflowers or canola or various other things it drops down a little bit so the number is the bonus you're going to get for using the crop rotation now i know a lot of people won't bother with this but you are going to get extra yield if you do so we've got rotation plan a b and c and these are just set up where you can just do them whatever you want and it's just more of a guide so you know what crop you're going to put in next whereas if you start that one off on barley then the next one down you want to scroll over you don't want to put barley in again you might put oats or you might put cotton in and you can see the numbers change depending on what you want to put in there which is pretty good so you pick on what you want and then drop it down and then so this is more of a guide it doesn't actually have much to do with setting anything up in the game it's more of a guide so you know what sort of rotation plan you are using and then we go on to the settings which i showed you earlier so let's go in and have a look at the crop moisture tool now this is something you're going to need if you're doing the moisture so we scroll over and it's the mt9 five grand to buy buy that so we got that i don't think you could lease it could you i think it was oh i think it was just a buy option wasn't it you already own this item of course i do well let me buy it twice will it anyway never mind so with a crop moisture tool you just bring that up like if you've got a chainsaw and and that's your lot and basically if you put this near bales trees or any of your fields it will tell you the moisture content so activate hand tool 
and it's not going to work on there is it it's because we've got nothing you need to use it with some crops which are growing and these all crops aren't growing so there you go now i've added turn the field info on which it might be a good idea to do that because then you can actually you see down the bottom there let's zoom that in so we can see a little bit more field info now that's owned by you fruit type what was in there previously the growth is harvested fertilizer zero before it was fallow so we know that one is fallow then we're on to wheat so we just need to do the crop rotation to however we decide to so that's a crop moisture tool i can't really show you much going on that yet because we haven't got any crops in the ground so let's go over and have a look at the main menu and we go into the map overview so here's the map overview for Sussex Farms and you can see at the moment I don't own a lot of stuff at all. I've only got the main farmyard and biogas down the bottom there. So let's get that back out. Now we've got our fruit types there and as we scroll down for the different fruit types you can see that cotton is still, is. I was surprised cotton's there actually because they might have taken that out because some of the geos it doesn't actually show up on there. So they're all the different crops we can use but some of them aren't going to grow so if you put cotton in it's just not going to grow so it's a waste of your time doing it now your growth you can see now we've got two things what have changed which is the germination germination failed and planted so basically if you put your, your seed in and it's too cold and the germination will failed it will come in up in the blue if it's planted and everything's cool it should be yellow and then I take it it will turn to green as it starts growing but that is the only thing we've what has changed in this menu everything's all the same we've got the same on everything else all it is is that we need those extra states which is quite good because on the other one you didn't know if anything had failed before where now it should denote that is failed so that's pretty cool right so that is the main overview then for seasons there's quite a bit to get your head round now if you're new to seasons don't worry about it too much because you don't need to know everything at once you can do it as a small little learning curve we can do bits as we go now i am going to do a let's play so then we can keep an eye on what's going on and i gotta play the game to actually show you what the crack is with seasons Right out, well that's it for our first introduction to Seasons 19 for Farming Simulator 19. I hope you found this, this episode useful and if you did, keep an eye out for the next ones because I'm not sure which way I'm going to actually do this yet. I haven't decided because there's a hell of a lot to go through so we shall see. Right out. thanks for watching and I always appreciate you smash that like button for me and if you are new to the channel go and check out one of my hundreds of farming simulator videos got coming up for 600 now there's absolutely loads you'd be surprised thanks for watching till the next time goodbye